$111 million raised via token sale backed by some of the biggest names on Wall Street. Rabbit, Alameda, and Multicoin Capital being some of the major participants in this round. This is monumental news for Helium and the Helium community. This proves there is major money and very powerful people and organizations behind Helium cheering, rooting for, and believing in its success. It was obvious by the adoption and scale of the recent validator network that some major players were involved in the space, but now it is in writing and has been pinged to every Bloomberg terminal on Wall Street. This is a major milestone for the community, and we are seeing a major price pump resulting from the news. The price ran directly to a key level on the chart. Today is a great day to be a helium miner and or investor. Let's take a look at some of the details. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Crypto Compound channel. One of the most exciting days we've had of the year so far with the news coming out about these major, major institutions leading a giant funding round for Helium. Some of the biggest names in crypto that we will get to. There are three articles out today, one from Bloomberg, one from Coindesk, and another from Anderson Horowitz that are gigantic, gigantic movers of this market and huge positive news for the Helium community. If we look at this chart, we can see this candle here. This is a daily chart. This is the pump we saw. We broke out straight through this massive resistance line here. Um, it was This line has been used as resistance and support over the last few weeks and few months. Uh, so it was a very, uh, very important zone here for Helium. As you can see when the news broke today around noon, we shot directly through it. And you can see we wicked up directly to the 618 Fibonacci level, which is very, very interesting. You could see from this swing high to this swing low, there was a massive wick all the way up to just over $18 here. Uh, we touched that zone and came back. Now, obviously, we're going to be moving between this zone here and I would look for us to start entering and flirting with this green zone here between the 618 and the 786. Of course, this positive momentum can drive this market anywhere, especially to new all-time high in the coming weeks. So very, very, very interesting news. Going to be very interesting to watch, very fun to watch. But I have a feeling that this news is going to really drive a lot more attention to Helium. Uh, it's going. It, this really sets Helium on a different stage from other coins. This type of news, this type of stuff being published directly on Bloomberg is really going to draw much more attention to Helium. These are serious players. They have these types of companies here, Rabbit, Alameda, Multicoin Capital are gigantic, gigantic investment firms in the crypto space. They are not making these decisions on a whim. These are huge companies with lots of resources and lots of money, and they are obviously getting behind Helium in a very strong manner. They're making a huge bet here, and I'm, I could promise you they have done their due diligence, and this news is going to resonate throughout the crypto investing space for these other giant companies, and it will be put on the map of companies if it hasn't been already. I would expect this momentum to follow through and bring us to, all, to new all-time highs in the coming weeks pending there is no gigantic broader Bitcoin or crypto market uh, collapse, I would say that this momentum can be pushed forward and this news is going to really resonate with a much broader audience, especially considering now we are entering the mid to low 60 coin by market cap range. A few hours ago, we were at 62. We're now at 65, which is one of the best locations we've been in any recorded video here on the channel. I would expect us to break into the high 50s in the next coming weeks, as I would expect Helium to start outperforming its peers here based on this really specific positive news for Helium. Now, of course, this line here is going to, is going to act as a major support line. Of course, really anything can happen now as long as we do not come and fall below this line. As long as we stay above this line, this trend is going to continue higher. Of course, it could take time, it could go sideways, but as long as it stays above this $16.60 range area, we should be good and we should continue this positive momentum and ride it to what I would believe would be all new all-time highs above the $24 area. And of course, 
it is beautiful to see this chart, how it just perfectly wicks directly to this 618 line. It is really, really cool to see that. Now, if we look into some of these news articles, we're gonna go through three different articles here, one being Bloomberg. You can see this is a this is an incredible, incredible testament to helium. These are huge, huge companies that have done tremendous research and due diligence on their investments and on their clients' money. So this is really great to see. Of course, they go into a brief description of Helium, some of the backgrounds of some of its founders, which is incredibly important because a lot of these, a lot of these tokens and a lot of these coins have really sketchy pasts, or their founders, I should say, have really sketchy and questionable pasts. However, Helium, that is not the case. These are very professional, very distinguished people who have had great success in their previous uh, in their previous careers or endeavors, which is really great to see. And obviously, these major companies have taken note of that. You can see down below, it even compares Helium to what you would call its competitors because it's competing for their business or, or in their space, but it does it very differently. It is comparing Helium to Verizon and AT&T. But it is awesome to see that it is referring to Helium as a cellular network and it is explaining the differentiation between Helium's business model and Verizon or AT&T's business model and how it is far superior, how the, the decentralization of this network and the coverage it's able to provide at such a low cost and the decentralization is just incompatible and un, it's uncomparable to these other gigantic corporations. We can also see here on Coindesk's this talks about A16Z, which is another major company that was in this round. It says A16Z leads a $100 million token sale for Helium's HNT. The token power decentralized telecommunications project is bringing on fresh capital. This capital, of course, is going to be closely monitored by, and I'm sure they have spoken about this in the funding round on what this money will be used for, but it is going to be used to continue to scale, improve, and establish the Helium network as a true pioneer in the telecommunications space. I love how in this article it actually says Helium is one of the few real world Web3 projects tapping, tapping token powered incentives to fuel growth. And that is one of the most interesting pieces, I think of all of these articles and all of the news that has come out today, because it is there, the real world application and the real world use of Helium and the Helium network is far surpassed, far beyond all of these other coins and tokens that we talk about. I, I think it's, it's very obvious once people get introduced to Helium and they see the real world applications and how it's already being used and there are people, 116 thousand current miners operating around the world, how it is so much more tangible and real world than these other cryptos and projects out there. You can see that it even compares what Helium is doing to the wireless space, what Airbnb has been doing to real estate. It is very interesting. Uh, this article has a lot of great information, a lot of great tidbits here. Now, Andresine Horowitz, which is also known as A16Z, which is what this Coindesk article is talking about, also published their own article titled Investing in Helium. You can see here that they even go on to say that Amir Halim, the founder uh, of Helium, Amir's vision has become a reality. Helium is now the fastest growing wireless network ever and is comprised of more than 100,000 hotspots. Of course, this number is changing almost, increasing almost a thousand a day at this point. Today, Helium is a community owned and operated low-ran network. Low-ran is a long-range, low-power, wide area network solution ideal for Internet of Things devices. This is incredible. It is very obvious that A16Z has noticed the potential of Helium, has seen its already amazing success and wants to be a part of it and is making a huge bet on their success moving forward in the future and is aligning their incentives with that of the Helium community and Helium network. I'm gonna link all of these articles below for you guys to take a look. This is really unbelievable stuff. A16Z, Multicoin Capital, all of these companies are gigantic players in the crypto space and they do not make rash, uninformed, or sporadic decisions. There has been significant, you can know, you know that there has been an extensive amount of due diligence 
and communication between these companies and Helium to make sure that their investment is in good hands. Let me know what you guys think about this. Is this, do you guys think that this is going to really push Helium forward to the next level? Do you think we're gonna be breaking in to the top 50 coins by market cap in the coming weeks? Are we gonna be hitting all new all time highs? Let me know what you think. Now, of course, guys, we have to also think that some of this money, some of this funding, some of this additional resources now that Helium has will be attributed and put towards the effort of getting Helium onto Coinbase. Of course, that is going to be hugely aligned with the giant corporations behind this funding round because that will increase the potential customers, the ease of purchasing HT for millions of customers around the world, which will, of course, impact the price of HT. So, guys, let me know what you think. Congratulations to all the miners and investors out there. But just like that, this video is over, and I will see you next time.